going to put my hands on your chest. And under your shirt. Now take a deep breath for me. Thank you. Now you're gonna feel, or excuse me, I'm gonna put my hands on your back and I want you to say the letters 99. 99, 99, 99, 99. Okay. Now you're gonna feel some light tapping. I'm going to listen with my stethoscope. You just need to take some deep breaths for me. I'm gonna lift under your shirt. Okay. Now instead of taking deep breaths, I want you to say 99 each time I move my stethoscope. 99, can you say E? E, 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 one, two, three, eight, seven, whisper. Whisper, <laughs> that's okay. Thank you. I'm going to put my hands on your chest again. Under your shirt. You take your hands out for me. Again, 
under your shirt. I'm going to have you leave that. Can you lay on your left side for me? Excuse me. Okay, you can lay on your back. Well, first, let me, let me help out your collar bars. One at a time. Carotid pulse is palpable plus two and regular bilaterally. And I'm going to use the um, bell of my stethoscope. Oh, sorry. I'm going to listen for a carotid brood with the bell of my stethoscope. And just breathe in and breathe out. No carotid breed uh, noted on either side. And I'm gonna do your heart sounds. So the, the aortic is second intercostal space, right sternal border. Um, pulmonic is second intercostal space, left sternal border. Herb's point is S1 and S2. Third intercostal space, left sternal border. Tricuspid is the fourth intercostal space, lower left sternal border. And then mitral is um, the fifth intercostal space, left sternal border, medial to the midclavicular line. And now I'm going to use my diaphragm to listen for heart sounds. Okay, just kind of op open up. Okay, now I'm going to listen to your um, pulse, your apical pulse. Oh. S1 and S2 is um, audible and regular with no murmurs, clicks, or extra heart sounds in all five oscillatory areas.
apical pulse rate was 82 beats per minute, which is which is within the normal ranges of 60 to 100 for an adult, plus two in regular. Now we're gonna do lung sounds. Um, so just each time I'm just gonna take the breathe and breathe out with the bell of my, I mean with the diaphragm of my stethoscope. Take a big breath. Big breath. Big breath. Big breath. Big breath. And then out. Anterior lung sounds are clear to auscultation with no adventitious um, lung sounds such as crackles, wheezes, or ronchi bilaterally. Are you okay to do the posterior side? Okay, just face um, towards the wall. Big breath. 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 You okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. Let me just do more times again. One more. Okay. Posterior lung sounds were also clear to auscultation. Um, there were no sounds of adventitious lung sounds bilaterally, such as weasels, crackles. Her uh, chest assessment and thorax. So just looking at her from straight on, I can see that her sternum is midline, her clavicles are even, um, chest isn't barreled at all, is at um, normal expenditure, she uh, it's at expected findings. So then I will check her posterior. Looking here, the patient's shoulders are even, her spine is midline, her ribs are sloping at a 45 degree angle, hips are aligned. Uh, nothing out of the ordinary. These are expected findings. So I will come back to her interior side and I will listen for her lung sounds. So before I place this on your chest, I'll try to warm it up a little bit so it's not cold. Um, just take a deep breath in and out whenever I move. Okay. Lung sounds on the uh, anterior side are clear, no adventitious sounds like crackling or wheezing. Um, the Her lung sounds seemed even throughout. Okay. Now I'll be checking for her posterior lung sounds. Same thing, whenever I move the stethoscope, just take a deep breath in and out for me.
Okay. Same thing for her posterior lung sounds. Uh, no crackling, no wheezing, no uh, bronchi, clear lung sounds. Now I'll come back this way. I'm going to be uh, listening for her heart sounds. So I will describe each of the spots as I go through. Let me first feel some Okay, the second intercostal space, uh, the right side is the aortic, so listen for that. Perfect. Heart sound is strong. Let me listen for the second intercostal space on the left side, which is pulmonic. At those two sounds, I was able to hear S2 uh, very clearly. Let me go down to Herb's point at the third intercostal space. I try not to listen over any um, bone or breast tissue. Okay, at Herb's point is where I could hear any murmurs. Uh, there are no murmurs at this time. Now I will be listening for the tricuspid at the fourth intercostal space. And then the fifth intercostal space of the left side is mitral. At the tricuspid and mitral sounds is where I can hear S1 the most clear. Okay. And then I'm going to do your anterior back. Um, I'm at to your back, um, chest. We're going to inspect. There's no lesions, masses, or rashes noted. Any tenderness? No. No tenderness noted. Any tenderness? No. Okay. All right. Um, skin target is nine tinting. The now we're going to do tactile primitives. You just say ninety nine. Ninety nine. Okay. It is equally felt on both sides. Going to percuss. and it is all resonance. Now I'm going to listen to you. So we're going to do breath sounds first. going to move around to your post you into your chest. Alright. So now I'm going to inspect your chest. Your skin is pink, warm, dry, and intact. Um, there's no heaves or lifts noted. Um, there's no rashes, lesions, masses noted to your chest. Skin turgor is non tending Now I'm going to palpate your chest.
Okay, and it's resonance in all areas. We're going to auscultate your lung sounds. to listen to your apical pulse for your point of perfect maximum intensity, which I've listened to for a whole minute to avoid the right and rhythm. Okay. All right. No abnormalities noted there. All right. I'm going to go ahead and lay you on back. Okay. No JVD noted to her neck. Um, no needs or less noted to the chest. Okay, I'm going to auscultate your heart sounds again. I'm going to do aortic, pulmonic, herbs point, tricuspid, and mitral. So next, I'm going to take a quick look at your chest. All right, I'm just going to move your hair a bit here. Okay, so there's no use of accessory muscles during breathing. It's unlabored. There's no visible masses or uh, uh, visible masses or lesions on the chest. Okay, just going to quickly palpate. Okay, so there's no palpable masses or tenderness to the chest as well. So while in this position, I'm also going to just check your breathing. Okay, so respiratory rate is uh, 60. Okay, so next I'm just going to have you turn your back um, to the camera. Just going to check your back right here. Turn it a little bit more actually. Okay, very good. So in the camera, okay, so there's no visible masses or lesions on the back. I'm just going to quickly palpate. Okay, so there's also no palpable masses on the back as well. So next I'm going to check for formitis. Uh, so please say the number 99. 99, okay. 99, 99, 99, 99. Very good. So next, uh, I'm going to uh, percuss your back uh, for, long, uh, for any resonance, okay? Okay, so there's resonance throughout uh, all fields of your lungs and it's bilateral. Okay, so next I'm just going to take a quick listen to the back of your lungs. Okay, so just breathe like you normally do. Very good. Your lung sounds there. Your lung sounds there. Good here. Good here. Okay, take a deep breath here. Take a deep breath. Very good. Take a deep breath. Okay, take a deep breath. Take a deep breath. Good. Take a deep breath here. And then take a deep breath here. Very good. So um, normal uh, lung sounds, there's no wheezing, crackles, or rail heard on any of the fields of the lungs bilaterally. So next I'm just gonna test for agophony. I'm gonna have you say the letter E while I listen to your lungs again. Okay, so okay, go ahead. E. Very good. So this negative for egophony, I heard the E perfectly clear. Um, okay, so next I'm just going to do another test. I'm going to have you whisper the number 99. That's just to see whether I can hear that whisper clearly or not. Go ahead.
Okay, perfect. So I was not able to hear the uh, 99, which is completely normal uh, and all through the lung. So I'm going to have you just turn back towards the front. Okay, doing the same thing as I did before earlier. Uh, I'm going to have you say the number 99 when I ask you for tactile for Midas. Okay. 99, 99, 99, 99, 99. Okay, very good. So next I'm also going to percuss the front um, for your resonance. Okay, so there is resonance on uh, all fields of your lung bilaterally, so that's good. Next, I'm just going to listen to the front as well. Okay, just breathe in deeply. Very good. Very clear. Very clear. Very clear. Very clear. So there is resin. I'm sorry. There is normal uh, lung sounds in all fields of your lungs, uh, with no wheezes, crackles, or rails heard. Okay. So next, I'm gonna um, listen to your heart. So before I do that, I'm gonna just gonna take a quick look at your hands. Okay. We're gonna test vocabulary refill. Okay. So okay. So is capillary refills is less than three cent seconds. Now I'm gonna check the refills on the foot. Okay. So capillary refills are also less than three on both feet. Okay, perfect. I'm gonna have you just do this. This is gonna check for clubbing. So I'm gonna have you just hold away like that with my retail chain. So I do see the diamond shape that indicates no clubbing and there's no cyanosis noted to either of your extremities. Okay, so next I'm gonna just listen to your heart sound. So before I do that, I'm gonna quickly palpate for your uh, valves. Okay, so in the second intercostal space, this is the aortic valve, which I do feel it here. Then it's the pulmonic. Okay, then on the left sternal border is your tricuspid. Then it's this your mitral valve on the left fifth intercostal space in the midclavicular line. Okay, so next I'm just gonna take a quick listen to it. Okay, starting with the aortic. Okay, so there's no murmurs here. So it sounds great here. Then I have the tricuspid here. I hear the tricuspid perfectly. And then it's the mitral valve, which sounds great here. So normal S1, S2 sounds, I have not heard any murmurs or gallops. Okay, using the bell, I'm gonna to try to listen to it again. Aortic, your pulmonic, very good. Then it's your tricuspid. And then your mitral which is great. Okay, so next, uh, I'm gonna just have you lay back on 30 degrees. Let me just raise the head of the bed a little bit. Okay. I'll pull this part shiny down. Okay, very good. So in this position, I'm gonna check for your carotid. I'm gonna have you turn your head towards the wall. Okay, so I do see a visible carotid there, no visible JVD. Okay, on this side as well. I do see a visible carotid and no um, visible JVD. At, in this position, stay this way. I'm just gonna quickly listen to the breweries there to see if there's any. Okay, so there's actually no breweries and I'm gonna quickly just palpate it right here. Okay, so it's that two plus, okay? So we're gonna turn back. I'm gonna just listen to whether there's any breweries of the carotid here and there's actually none. Just gonna quickly palpate it here as well. Perfect, and it's also measured at two plus. Okay, so staying in this position, uh, I'm just gonna uh, quickly listen to your heart as well. One more time. Okay, starting from the aortic again. Then it's your pulmonic. Then it's your tricuspid valve. Very good. Your mitral valve. And I'm going to listen to using the valve of my stethoscope again. Aortic valve. Your pulmonic valve. Your tricuspid valve. And your mitral valve. Very good. So in this position, I am also going to be feeling for heaves and thrills. 
Okay, so there is no heat there. We're good. So starting with the aortic, there is no thrill. The pulmonic, there's also no thrill here. Try to test it. There's also no thrill here. And the last but not least, your mitral valve, there is also no thrill. So there's also normal uh, S1, S2 sounds that I heard earlier with normal murmurs or gallops. So next, uh, I'm gonna have you turn to your side and I'm gonna measure for pulse deficit, okay? So while staying like this, I'm just gonna quickly do it for your pulse maximum. So feel it, okay, which I do feel it. Okay, very good. So I don't feel a pulse deficit. Okay, perfect. So I'm gonna have you just turn back really quickly onto your back one more time. So what I'm going to be doing, I'm gonna be listening to your lung sounds. Um, I'm gonna be looking, making sure you're not using any accessory muscles. We're looking at your um, right and rhythm. We're gonna be looking at your respiratory expansion and your costal angle, okay? So for your costal angle, I'm gonna get you to take a deep breath in and out. Okay, perfect. So next I'm going to be listening to your lungs, okay? I'm gonna get you to, every time you feel my um, stethoscope move on you, just take a good deep breath in and out, okay? It's gonna be a couple times, okay? Okay, we're gonna be starting up here with your vesicular. You'll be moving side to side. Bronchovesicular. We're moving down here to vesicular, okay? I'm gonna lift your breast up a little bit, okay? more time on this side. I'm going to move into this side, still at vesicular. I'm going to lift this breast up. One more time on this side. Okay, perfect. Now I'm going to get you to turn around for me so I can listen to your posterior lungs. Before I do that, I'm going to be looking at your scapulas and making sure they're even, I'm gonna be looking at your spine and your rib angles, okay? Can I get you to shrug your shoulders and push them back for me and relax? Okay, very, very good. I'm gonna check your spine. It's good and straight. I'm gonna give you, um, we do one good deep breath for me and check your ribs. Your rib angle looks good. Now I'm gonna just start listening to your lungs again. So just like the front, I'm going to be listening to the back, so every time you hear my, or feel my stethoscope move, give me a good deep breath in and out. Starting back up top with your fascicular. Bronchovesicular. Moving back to vesicular. And one more time on this side. Vesicular again. And one more time. Perfect, thank you, those all sounded great. I'll get you turned back around. The next thing I'm going to be listening to, I'm going to be listening to your heart, okay? So I'm going to um, feel around again on your chest with my stethoscope, but this time you don't have to take any breaths, okay? Okay, I'm just starting with aortic, pulmonic, second pulmonic, tricuspid, Mitral, epigastric. Now I'm going to turn my stethoscope around just to hear the deeper sounds, okay? To the smaller side. 
epigastric, mitral, tricuspid, second pulmonic, pulmonic, and aortic. Okay, it sounds like a good strong heart. Depressing and listening to your lungs. Oh, sorry. No, thank you. Take a deep breath in for me each time you feel like that was good. Thank you. Yeah. Now I'm going to be listening to your um, carotid. Can you just take a deep breath for me and hold it? Yeah. Next, I'm going to have you lay down. I'm going to listen again to your heart, um, and then I'm going to start on your abdomen, okay? Okay. feel for your carotid pulse. Okay, um, your pulse is a two plus equal bilaterally as well. I'm just going to listen. I need you to take a deep breath in and hold it on your exhale. I'm going to listen with the bell of my stethoscope whenever you're ready. Okay, and again whenever you're ready. No signs of whooshing or swishing, so no bruise or present. Um, I'm going to listen to your heart sounds now. Starting with the aortic, which is at the second intercostal space. And the pulmonic. S2 is louder than S1 here. Listen for herbs at about the third intercostal space. Um, can you just place your rest for me, please? The tricuspid valve at about the fourth intercostal space. And the mitral valve at about the fifth intercostal space, midclavicular line. Okay. 
Um, I was a severe apical pulse at the mitral valve location for 60 seconds. Um, and then I would switch to the valve with the subscope and go back up in the same pattern. Um, I'm now going to listen to your lung sounds. Every time my subscope touches you, I need you to take a deep breath in for me, please. You can breathe normally now. No adventitious sounds are present. Um, your AP diameter is a one to two. Um, I'm just gonna listen to your back sounds. Same thing, every time my stethoscope touches your back, I need to take a deep breath in for me. You can breathe normally. No adventitious sounds are present. Notice you have a tattoo back here. How long have you had this? About six months. Okay, and then have you had any tenderness, soreness, any infections? Nope. Alrighty. Um, whenever I, wherever I put the stethoscope, if you'll breathe in and out. Um, and if you have any, if you need to stop or anything, let me know. Okay, if you'll breathe, take a deep breath. Okay, out. Chest expansion is symmetrical. AP is less than transverse. Okay, and listen to your lung sounds anteriorly. Okay, if you lift your shirt up. Thank you. Okay. okay, anterior lung sounds um, are this vestibular um, with no um, ronca, wheezing, or rails. All right, we'll listen to your posterior and your lateral. Posterior and lateral um, lung sounds are 
as as before with no um, rails, rock pile, or wheezing. Okay, and that's for the posterior and lateral. Okay, and I'll come to your heart. We're gonna listen with the um, um, diaphragm first, and then the uh, the belly. The um, April pulse was regular and it was 78. I heard um, no splitting, no heart murmurs, and no extra heart, turn, heart tones and separate S1, S2 sounds. I'm gonna go back and listen with the um, bell. to now auscultate for herbs point and I will listen to your heart rate for one minute. Um, I'm going to start, I'm going to listen at your third intercostal space um, left of the sternal border.
heart rate is 63 and it is regular breathing rhythm and there is no murmur noted. I am now going to listen to your lung sounds. And whenever I touch my stethoscope to your chest, I just want you to breathe in deep for me, please. And big breath out. <laughs> All right, in. Okay. All right, I'm gonna go here. Deep breath. And the breath sounds are clear and there are no adventitious lung sounds noted. I am now going to listen to the back now. All right, and same thing when I touch my stethoscope, just give a big breath in for me, please. Deep breath. And one more deep breath. All right, and again, breath sounds are clear and there's no adventitious lung sounds present. And um, next, I'm just gonna listen to your heart at the herbs point which is located at the third intercostal space you can just sit up for me please okay one two three all right i'm gonna listen here for a minute okay So your heart rate was about 98, so it's just a little high. Um, next, I'm going to listen to your bronchovesicular sounds, okay? okay. Alright, so when I move the stethoscope, I just want you to inhale and exhale. I'm going to listen for a full cycle, okay? okay. Good. Good. I'm gonna lift 
your shirt a little bit here. Okay. And one more time. Good. All right. So there's no adventitious sounds, and sounds are equally bilaterally. I'm going to listen to your vesicular sounds, okay? Same thing. One more time. Good. All right, there's no adventitious sounds, and sounds are equally bilaterally. All right, can you just turn around for me? I'm going to listen to your posterior sounds. All right, so I'm going to start by listening to your bronchovesicular sounds. I just want you to inhale and exhale for me so I can listen for a full cycle. Alright, and I'm going to listen to your vesicular sounds, okay? And last time. Great. Okay, so all of the sounds on the posterior side are equally bilaterally and there's no adventitious.